Good morning, everybody. I uh, hope you had a wonderful night to rest. <laughs> Okay, so okay, so yesterday was FOMC, which is um um Federal Open Market Committee, and yesterday the United States dollar US decided to cut their interest rates, and this was because that. They need that um, their labor force is getting weak. Their labor force is getting weak. And they knew that if the labor force is getting weak, then it means that the more businesses, more businesses will not be able to get loans from the bank because of the high interest rate. So they have to cut off their interest rates with 50 BS point, which is a very, very, very huge um the very very huge interest cost so 50 50 percent uh i mean that is uh yeah 50 bps and this means that it might have a very very negative effect for dollar owing to the fact that us dollar has been very very unstable due to the us election and it has been very very weak due to some factors like breaks like um so many things coming up on board for the United States dollar. So, um, which means that we are going to look at our chart and we are going to continue, probably, you know, if we are going to continue our bearish sentiment. That was yesterday on the 18th of September. Now, today is 19th. Um, we have a lot of high impact news on three currency pairs, on three currencies. The first one is on Australian dollar, which is an employment change. It came out positive for, for Australian dollar by midnight. So if you are trading Australian dollar in Nigerian time, you should literally look towards buying Australian dollar. And I think by now, we should also be looking at buying Australian dollar. So currency pays like AUD card, AUD, CHF, AUD, 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 USD, we could look towards bullish sentiment for them. And by 12 p.m. today, we are looking at pounds because they're going to talk about their monetary policy summary. They're going to talk about MPC, official bank rate, which is also their interest rate for today. And we don't know if they are also going to increase or cut down their interest rates. Okay, so or cut down their interest rates. Okay, so we also have unemployment claims. Uh, unemployment unemployment claims. It's um two thirty um by by around thirty p.m. So we are expecting two high impact news. Unemployment unemployment claims and also. Um, interest rate for GBP. All right, climate claims is for United States dollar. All right, climate claims is for United States dollar by 130. Also for pounds, we have monetary policy summary. Okay, so having this information, having this information, let's look at the chart um, to see what we are expecting, what we need to see, and what we could get on the chart today. So I'm going to go by USDX, and I'm going to show us USDX, okay? Okay, so going by weekly time frame, today is Thursday. We still maintain this high resistance. This high resistance zone, we still maintain this high resistance. I mean, this high support is still holding for for um for US dollar. This high resistance, I mean, this high support still holds for US dollar, and we're having a solid rejection on it. Also, for daily time frame, we had a whipsaw. Price filled out this gap, right? Price, price filled out this gap, and we are probably continuing to the downside. So I'm not of any uh, opinion. My opinion is those that I think dollar will continue bearish. Dollar will continue bearish because of the interest rate cut. 
okay, it will continue bearish because of the interest rate cut. But we need to know two things. Now, on one hour time frame, market has shown us a um, change of market structure, which we have two highs around this level. So we have two things that could literally happen. Uh, we could literally look at market forming a higher low and continue moving to the downside, okay? So I would say that we need a proper patience. We need a proper patience this morning before we could decide whatever will happen because market is just recovering from FOMC of yesterday. So we need proper patience before we could decide what literally happened to the market. So uh, my own is just still, you still need to be patient to see what will happen because market has breaking this high and filled up this gap. So filling up this gap could literally form continuation to the downside or market could literally form a higher low at this level so we need market to form either a higher low or a lower high, okay? A higher low or what? Or a lower high before we enter into any market. So here's the CHF. We look at the market currently on daily time frame. We had a rejection at this resistance and market couldn't close above it. So we have rejection at this resistance on daily time frame, four hours. So for four hours time frame, we could also wait for some things. Probably we could look for a higher low, just like I said, for dollar indices. I love to see a higher low or price to break out this side for me to be fully convinced that we are moving to the top side. So we still need to be patient. Fundamentally, USDX is weak, uh, but technically we are seeing some um, patterns, so head and shoulder patterns, if I show you here, you'll see some head and shoulder patterns trying to play up for USDX. So we need to be very, very patient for what is happening in the market this morning. And I will just say we should hop into any trade. I want to say we should hop into any trade at the moment. Let's just wait to see what will literally occur. Okay, so let's look at, um, Euro USD also. Or probably we should avoid avoid um dollar dollar pay this morning. Probably we should avoid dollar pay till it's settled. Okay. So we have so we have um Rejection, which still shows that we are still moving to the top side. Yes, if US is bad, it should be good for gold. Yes. Okay, so because of this that happens on weekly time frame, we are still looking towards bullish sentiment for GPUSD overall. And we had a rejection and I think, oh, okay, this is a confirmation candle for continuation pattern for GPUSD. Yeah, I think buying, I don't want to be tempted to say we should buy, but buying GPUSD is not going to be a bad idea. Buying GPUSD is not going to be a bad idea. I already saw a very, very good pattern here. Okay, so how do we buy GBPUSD? Probably we could wait for a rejection. Market rejects GBPUSD and continue moving to the upside because we have a solid rejection here at this supply and demand level, right? And market, we have a switch over here at this zone. So what we are expecting and we are anticipating is a little pullback before continuation to the upside. Okay, a little pullback before continuations to the 
upside. Okay. Okay, so let's wait or uh, let's hold on for a full bout to occur before we continue moving to the upside. But around here, I just saw or 15, although it's 15 minutes time frame, so it might not be it might not be very, very active, but we've seen a bearish structure here and it came down to this demand level. Here's the demand zone here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking forward to a pullback to around 1.32045 before I buy my GPUSD because GPUSD has gone for a long time. And although I've seen a confirmation, I've seen a very, very good confirmation that GPUSD will continue its bullishness today. So let's look at some, probably we could look at Euro USD. If Euro, if Euro USD is very, very slow, we could enter a buy for Euro USD if it's very, very slow. The sell will drop for EURUSD hit TP yesterday before the news. Okay, it hit take profit yesterday before the news. And okay, so okay, okay. So Euro USD, we are still looking at um probably a continuation. So I'm looking towards continuations so today is Thursday. Okay, yeah, we will we continue up movements today uh, because of this sentiment. We have market rejecting this low, right? And we have a solid engulfing pattern. So what we are looking, what I would love to see, I would love to see a pullback also around this level. So I'll be watching your USD for a pullback around this level because this level is a failed engulfing pattern. And we need a rejection before continuing moving to the upside. So I love to wait to see what will happen. I'm expecting a pullback at that level before we continue buying. So also the same thing for Euro USD. Okay. Market has not fully formed what it wants to do. It has not fully showed us its direction because it's just recovering from yesterday's FOMC, which moved, I mean, gold moved to about. 300 pips to the top and also move 300 pips to the bottom. And before, I think before it continues or it will continue moving to the top. So I'm bullish on gold. Like I've said, gold will reach 3000 this year, might reach $3,000 this year before the ending of this year. But let's see how far it will go. And with another thing is just that we are also looking towards bullish sentiment. If this current candle closes bullish for the daily time, on four hours, do we have any rejection at any, no. Okay, yeah, we have a rejection at this S and R level. Okay. <clears throat> That rejection that is an R level, and this is an engulfing pattern. Same thing, same scenario. <clears throat> we need a pullback before entry into the market. We need a pullback before entry into the market. So, I didn't think we saw this pattern. I would have entered a lovely buy here. This would have been a very sweet buy for for gold. Right, this would have been a very, very sweet buy for gold, and we'd have made about a hundred or two hundred pips, um, like one hundred and thirty pips or so. So what we lost, <clears throat> what do we need to see now? We are hoping to see a pullback before moving to the upside. Okay, we obviously see a pullback before moving to the upside, and we also have this resistance zone. So we'll be watching this gold. I'll be watching gold and Euro USD before we give an entry. So let's see what we have put at this resistance because it's an engulfing, and we love to see a pullback down to probably two five six two region before we move or before we continue moving to the upside. Okay, so that's that on on gold. 
Okay, let's look at GBP JPY and NZD USD. NZD USD. NZD USD. Okay, so NZD USD, um, this is also a bullish continuation pattern for me for NZD USD due to the candlestick pattern I saw. And this is also it. If I if I say we should enter a buy now, right? We are we might experience a drawdown, which some of us might not even have um a mind to own, right? Because we are expecting a pullback before continuation to the top side, right? Expecting a pullback before moving to the top side. So, NZUSD also we wait for a pullback before we enter a buy. Okay, a pullback before we enter a buy, and uh, probably at around this level. Around 0 0.620 whereabouts before moving to the upside. Okay. So We wait for whatever instructions or whatever market plays out for us. Don't forget, we are having a news on GBP and also for US dollar by 1.30. GBP is by 12 p.m. So last one on your request is GBP JPY. And we have to have a look at GBP JPY. So for GBP JPY on a daily time frame, we should look towards uh, market has formed a higher low at this at an hour level. The market formed the higher low at this level, right? The market came back to retest it, and now it's moving to the upside. So I think my best bet, nothing, my best take profit area will be around this level if we are to buy at 104.143. But I think we missed the entry. And this is also a very good confirmation pattern, telling us that GBP JPY will move to the top side. I mean, pounds generally, I think pounds generally, we also, um, is also a very, very good, um, showing a good setup for, for the market. So here we have resistance, some support, and we are moving to the upside. Okay, so what are we expecting at this level? We are expecting bullishness, Maybe we are going to have a buy stop order. Okay, so let's use buy stop order for GPP JPY. Buy stop. CP1 will be here. The NTP2 will be there. Then stop loss. Then SL. SL will be here. SL will be here. Let's have a look. That's about how much? Oh, 135 pips is too high. <laughs> so let's go 15. The reason I'm putting a buy stop is because the trend is still bullish. Um, there is a resist, there's a supply zone here, which might move price to the downside. So buy stop. We'll put a sell stop around here. Yep, let's see how many pips. That's the 75 pips. Okay, I think it's fair, fair enough. We could use a buy stop order here. Um, let's shift the TP1 to this level. Okay, TP1, TP2, TP1, 75 pips, SL is about how much? 67 pips. I'm not a fan of using, I'm not a fan of using high lot size though. <laughs> I mean, I take profit. 
Okay, so let's take it. Let's take a look at that. Um, please apply proper risk management on GBP JPY. Buy stop. Uh, one eight six. No, nope, sorry. One eight nine point six zero seven SL one which is point eight four zero CP one one nine zero point two nine three CP two one nine zero point eight six five. Okay. So let's take that. I think let's take the GBP JPY buy stop. I think that will be end for this morning analysis. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know and all that. Okay, so I'm going to drop this on our front deck client group. I'm going to drop this on our front deck client client group. Um, I know. So any questions or probably want us to check any pair? Okay, Nicholas. Can I just like you can do Guy. Who's oh that? Dismiss yourself, please. Okay, we've done SAD USD. Done as the USD. So the signal we drop is GPP JPY. So we drop the signal. Somebody said NAS 100. So we're looking at NAS 100. NAS 100. Okay, I'm trying to drop it one point. Oh no, sorry, SL one it's it point eight four zero CP one CP one one nine zero point two nine three CP two one nine zero point eight six five okay so let's look at nasdaq yesterday a signal was dropped on nasdaq um before the news it took us out and continue its direction NAS 100. Okay, NASDAQ is bullish. Uh, we'll continue. One thing is, I think dollar is nothing. Uh, dollar will continue bearish. Next, we are going to talk about it in our advanced class today. I will talk about it in our advanced class today. Dollar will continue bearish. And don't forget our advanced class for Abuja and Lagos on Thursday is from 11 p.m. to 2. Okay, 11 to 2. Level to two, so please, it's no longer level to four. It's now level to two. Okay, so Nasdaq we continue bullish. Um, we're still looking towards much more bullish sentiment for Nasdaq. 
four hours time frame still says it, but you of course you know that we need to enter at retracement. So I'm looking for a retracement, it's around at around 194.199.28, right? 194.99.28. So a pullback before continuing will give us a, an ideal entrance because the reason why I'm looking at those buying Nasdaq is because market has rejected this s and r zone. You can see here we have solid rejection, also market rejection this level as well. So we need market to reject either this zone, this zone, 195, 195.53.73 region before we continue moving to the upside. Okay. So that's that. We also have another demand zone here. So please, let's be watchful at NASDAQ. This level is also a very important one because we have an engulfing pattern and market seems to push to the downside before moving up. So you can see as break and retest level failed as an hour, we have market rejection at this zone and move to the upside. So this level also, we need to wait to see what will literally happen before that, okay? Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Um, thanks for your time. Have a wonderful trading day. Today is our advanced class. Don't forget, we are at our physical office at number 50 in Abuja, number 50, a bit to Kiwi Street, Hope and Connect Building, Jabi, and also in Lagos, number 54B, Adeni Jones, um, Agos Plaza at Ikeja, okay? 11 to 2 p.m. today, and let's have um, time to trade, okay? Have a wonderful training day, everybody, and bye-bye. Well done.